One invention has had a special role in vastly improving the submarine's underwater capability. This is sonar, the underwater eyes and ears of the submerged submarine, product of one of the most intensive development programs of the post-war years. With extensive training, long hours of practice, and perhaps a little imagination, the skillful sonar operator can learn the distinguishing characteristics of the sounds that fill the seas around him. I guess the most amazing thing about underwater sound is how much noise there is in the water. You know, sound has been known to travel as far as 3,000 nautical miles through the water, even more. Somebody once described the ocean depths as a huge, almost unexplored jungle with mountain ranges, canyons, populated with strange creatures, and with all kinds of noises racketing through it. Actually, the air in our atmosphere is a fluid, just like the sea. But the water is much more dense, so sound can travel further in water. Although you can't see them, there are several arrays of hydrophones on the outside of the submarine hull to pick up sound then the sonar equipment amplifies it so that we can hear it better, identify it, and tell where it's coming from. It's a funny thing, but after a while, you can almost see with your ears the things that are moving in the water around you. Whales, a whole school of them. I never realized there were so many whales in the ocean. That's a merchantman, probably an antique. She's probably giving it everything she's got and making about eight knots. There's a porpoise. Scientists believe they can actually talk to one another. <laughs> 